Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're jumping right into the cleaning, decluttering, and organization and I have been on such a roll lately. If you guys didn't check out my last decluttering video, I'll link it down below so you guys can get some more motivation when you're done watching this one because I have really been decluttering and organizing tons of spaces in my house and it feels so good. I'm not done yet either. So we're starting out in the closet in my office and I very rarely show this on camera so if you guys have been here for a while, I do film in my office but but this closet is kind of hard to get good camera angles and I don't keep a lot of stuff in here except mostly seasonal decor and a few clothing items. This is all long hanging stuff so jumpsuits and dresses and things like that. And I like to declutter usually right before a new season. So everything that I'm getting rid of right here is pretty much spring and summer clothes that I know I'm not going to wear. They don't fit me anymore. Or honestly, some of this stuff I've probably had since college. Or now that I even look at the pile, I may have even had some of this stuff since high school. So yeah, definitely time to get rid of it. But I'm also so excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Kristen here on YouTube. And you guys, Kristen was one of the first girlfriends that I met through doing YouTube almost a year ago. Yes, I have almost been on YouTube for one year. I cannot even believe it. But Kristen is such a amazing, down to earth, and super sweet person. She makes tons of content very similar to mine. Lots of cleaning, motivation, organizing, decluttering. In her video today, she's gonna be doing some more Valentine's Day decor. But I know you guys are going to love her video and love her channel so, so much. So so head on over when you're done watching this one and watch her video and let her know that I sent you. And if you guys are here from Kristen's channel, welcome. My name is Meredith. I make lots of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, any kind of homemaking video that you can think of, I probably make it. And I would love to have you consider subscribing before you go. So thank you so much for being here and let's jump right back into the decluttering. So while I was in my bedroom before I started decluttering the closet, I thought it would be a good idea to just go ahead and strip my bed sheets. And usually anytime I tackle a cleaning project, I try to throw in a load of laundry. I know so many of my mom friends can relate that just staying on top of laundry is pretty much impossible. But now that the bed sheets are stripped, I am gonna move on to decluttering the closet that is in here. And I don't tackle everything, like the shelves I didn't even touch today, but I did the same thing that I did in the office closet. So this is the remainder of my clothes, t-shirts, pants, long sleeve shirts, basically anything that can be hung up is in here. And I wanted to go through everything on the right side, which is all pretty much, again, spring and summer clothing. And then I do go through a little bit of like fall and winter stuff, but I was really pleased with how much space I was able to clear out. I would really love to be able to consolidate all of my clothes into one closet instead of having everything all over this house, but we will get there slowly but surely. Speaking of clothes, I will try and link what I'm wearing in the description box because I always get questions or comments on if I'm wearing like comfy clothes. And this suit is from Target and it is literally the most comfortable thing ever. If you are petite like me, then you will absolutely love it. The drawstring waist is a game changer for sure. All 
All right, so we're moving downstairs now to do a little bit of cleaning down here. And I usually put the chairs up on my table like that. If you've seen me do it before, it's because I have a robot vacuum and it just makes it a little bit easier. I definitely needed to clean out my sink because it had been a while since I had done this and I have been thawing a lot of raw meat out in the sink and I feel like that's really gross if you don't clean it after you've done that. So I am going to clean out this sink and then we're going to move on to some more decluttering. Talk to me, baby, I've been waiting for a lifetime Just keep on fading in all these photos Caught in the memories and captured in the highlights Just keep on wasting Glass after glass, I keep hoping you'll come around Drown in our fights and what, whatever can be found Cause I've given in to all my demons It does feel really good just sometimes to straighten things up, even if you're not decluttering and getting rid of anything. Sometimes when I put stuff away, they just kind of get haphazardly thrown into drawers, so it felt really good to reorganize my kitchen hand towels. Also, my bathroom hand towels are in that drawer too, so it's pretty much where all the hand towels live. Now we're moving on to day two, which is tackling the linen closet down here. And this is pretty much where all of my bath supplies, like bath towels and things live, hand towels, washcloths, and things like that. I also have a lot of like beach towels and some other miscellaneous bathroom items in here. So it, some of you may say that it already looks pretty organized, but it just really needed to be straightened up a little bit more. So I'm taking everything out of the first two shelves, the bottom and the first shelf, and then I'm gonna wipe them down. And this is something I should do periodically, even if things are straightened and organized. It's really nice just to clean everything and wipe it all down. So I keep toilet paper and tissues and just a couple of cleaning supplies on the bottom there. And then on the first shelf is where I keep hand soaps, lint rollers, and anything like that that I might use in the bathroom, couple of other cleaning supplies. So I'm just gonna give this all a really good wipe down and then I'm gonna continue to put everything back in a more orderly fashion. clear bottles here, the spray bottles I'm putting away are from the Grove Collaborative and they have different concentrates in them so those different colored sleeves help me to know which one is which. And by the way, I always have my Grove Collaborative link in the description box so if you're looking for any new cleaning products, then you should definitely go check that link out and get yourself a free set while you're at it. But now we're moving on to the upper shelves and that has all of my towels and again, more random bathroom supplies. I also keep some first aid items on the top shelf and all of those green boxes are contacts like a year's worth of contacts if you guys don't know I wear contacts pretty much every day and since I throw them away at the end of each night I have tons of them so I just need a good quick place to store them when I need to grab a new box so this is what we're working with I'm gonna wipe these ones down and I'm gonna do the same thing just kind of declutter and put everything back where it goes So 
the smaller basket is for washcloths and I'm gonna try to consolidate those. I actually end up making a pile of some pretty old washcloths and towels that I just don't use anymore in the bathroom. And I'm gonna take them and put them out in my shed. And this is just like a little tip if you need old rags or things like that to use either outside. I know my boyfriend uses them like on the car or if we're doing some outdoor projects, he can wipe down like the lawnmower or just different things. So it's always good to take old towels and when they are way past their prime, you can take them outside and use them in some other ways. So I just made a little stack to stick outside for that. And this makes so much more space. And now that I kind of see how much room I really do have, I can put some more of those towels in the linen closet that I like to hang up in the bathroom. And that freed up a little more space in some of my drawers. I needed to put back in the linen closet was some first aid supplies. I'm really curious to know where you guys like to keep your medicines and first aid supplies. So I always keep my medications in the cabinet above the microwave and I got this idea because my parents always kept the medications in our house growing up above the microwave and that was probably just so we didn't get our hands into it when we were really little. So that's just where I keep them now. And then first aid supplies I keep in this little white basket from Target and I just keep that in the top of the linen closet. Super easy to grab. I like to keep it downstairs because <laughs> nine times out of 10, I need to grab something out of here because either myself or Jack has hurt ourselves while doing a project outside. And I don't wanna have to go all the way upstairs, especially if one of us is bleeding. So it's nice to have it really convenient to grab. So I just reorganized that and threw stuff away that we didn't need anymore. And now we're moving on to the under the sink area. And this was already pretty organized too, but I do like to stack all my cleaning supplies in here based on how often I use them. So for example, everything for rugs is at the very back of the sink, just because I don't have very many rugs and carpets and I don't often have to spot treat them. So I always keep that stuff toward the back. And several times Josie tries to get in the sink and she just doesn't understand that sinks are not for kittens. <laughs> But I like to keep all the cleaning supplies I don't use often in the back and then the things that I grab almost every day towards the front. And then this black caddy here has all of my cleaning tools and I am not so good about purging these and I know that I need to be. A lot of times I throw my sponges in the dishwasher to clean them so that way they last a little bit longer. But there were a few things in here like scrubbers that really just needed to be thrown out. So I'm going through and kind of throwing things away that I don't need anymore and making this a little more organized and then I'm gonna wipe the inside of the sink and put everything back.
under the sink is organized. I'm gonna give you guys a bit more cleaning motivation as I wipe down the countertops and just different surfaces. I always make a mess when I declutter and I feel like it just brings out a bunch of dust and dirt that wasn't there before. So I'm gonna throw the rug in the wash, just kind of wipe some things down and then we are gonna head upstairs and do a little bit of vacuuming to end this video because who doesn't wanna end a video with some satisfying carpet lines? guys missed my last decluttering and organizing video then I will have that link in the description box if you're needing some more motivation after you finish this video but that is gonna be it for today's cleaning motivation video so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you're new here and after you're done finishing this video make sure you head over to Kristen's video and show it some love today and let her know that I sent you I know you guys are gonna love her channel and I will see you guys again real soon with a brand new video. Bye guys.